This is The Wonderful World of Art with Coleman Martinez. Hello, and we are here live in the woods to talk with you about one of my favorite artists, Francesco Goya. Goya was a painter during the 19th century who is most known for his involvement in the Romantic period of art. He is renowned for his commentary on the Enlightenment, as can be seen in many of his etchings, like The Sleep of Reason Produces Nightmares. Additionally, many know him by his paintings of the royal family, as is seen in this portrait of Queen Maria Luisa. Goya actually was made Pintor del Rey, or Painter to the King, in 1786. Later in life, Goya also painted so-called black paintings, like this one. We will get to those later. But our main focus for today is his Disasters of War series, which is inspired by a series of historical events. Picture this. It was the early 19th century and the aging King Charles IV of Spain and Queen Maria Luisa began to fall out of favor with their people. Ferdinand VII, son of the King and Queen, enlisted Napoleon Bonaparte to help him oust his mom and dad. He won, but Napoleon instead put his brother, Joseph, on the throne instead of Ferdinand. The Spanish people protested, eventually leading to the May 3rd Massacre of 1808, in which French soldiers lined up protesters and killed them. This influenced Goya into creating his famous May the 3rd painting and Disasters of War series in order to generate sympathy for the Spanish people who had been mercilessly slaughtered. Now, the Disasters of War series, created between 1810 and 1820, was made not only as a response to this massacre, but also as a protest against the Peninsular War that developed in 1808 and the restoration of the Bourbon Monarchy. One of the more famous of the etchings in this series is E no hay remedio, or End There's Nothing to Be Done. This specific work protests the brutality the French exhibited when they occupied Spain. It depicts French Napoleonic soldiers brutally massacring Spanish citizens. Goya heightens the drama of the scene by using the severe light and dark contrast of an etching to his will, and pairs this with the violent scene at hand. Additionally, the form of the French soldiers is robotic and cruel, portraying them as hateful and evil. The figure strapped to the post is also reminiscent of Jesus Christ on the crucifix, likening the figure to a martyr. Following his Disasters of War series, Goya became extremely pessimistic. He began painting what would later be dubbed black paintings, which often were dark and gruesome. For example, Saturn devouring one of his children, a more infamous black painting, depicts the bloody scene of a god consuming his young one. The underlying message is even more visceral, a message against the futility and destructiveness of the war Spain had embroiled itself in. Goya died April 16, 1828, in Bordeaux, France, a miserable and despondent man. Even so, he lives on in the form of his great, though a bit creepy, artwork. See you next time.